Malmö District is quite unique. Uh, at the beginning of the 90s, uh, the uh, field of molecular genetics and gene therapy was developing and was showing the first results in animal model, transferring to humans, uh, mainly for genetic diseases, but also for cancer. And uh, in this context, uh, clearly there were no facilities or structure able to produce these reagents uh, at quality for patients. We joined forces with Beringer Mannheim, and with that, we built inside the Sarafaele Institute with Sarafaele help the new facility, the first moment. And we started setting up the structure that will allow to use these therapeutics in patients. In 2008, uh, we went uh, public on the Milano Stock Exchange. It was a fairly successful uh, IPO, and that was followed by a series of uh, financial rounds uh, that together with our uh, historical uh, investors uh, allowed the company to expand, grow, specialize, uh, and develop uh, its own products, not only uh, delivering GMP quality products, uh, but developing our own uh, products uh, for uh, gene therapy of cancer, for antivascular agent for cancer, mainly in the field of oncology, but with a lot of attention to genetic diseases. We invested a lot of resources in infrastructure to support internal and external projects in cell and gene therapy. We have now two facilities uh, encompassing about 4,000 meters uh, of GMP suites uh, to manufacture uh, products uh, for both clinical trials and also for some marketed products. TK, now called Zalmoxis, is a cell therapy that we developed for the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Uh, this is applied in patients who undergo uh, aploidentical transplantation. The technology is based on the use of a suicide gene system that allows to control and abrogate the graft versus host disease, which is clearly one of the most detrimental side effects in these patients. This allows actually two things. On one hand, it allows to use lymphocytes, so the immune system that is able to kill the leukemia, so promoting the graft versus leukemia effect. And on the other end, to control the graft versus host disease, promoting the immune restoration in, uh, of the immune system in the patient, so protecting against infection, and eventually prolonging the overall survival in these patients. In the oncology field, NGR, TNF, demonstrating the subpopulation of severe uh, mesothelioma patients, a, a really significant difference versus uh, uh, the, the benchmark, the uh, comparator, uh, and uh, we are confident that uh, starting from this uh, indication, we can enlarge more and more uh, the benefit of this uh, uh, therapy to other uh, oncology patients. An important feature of NGRTNF is the fact that it is able to attack the tumor and eliminate the tumor without inducing the recruitment of mechanisms and cells that actually sustain uh, the angiogenesis of tumors and therefore the regrowth of the tumor. That is one of the uh, detrimental features of many of these drugs in the anti-angiogenic uh, uh, field. An important piece of our pipeline is uh, CD44 V6 CAR-T. This is uh, based on the chimeric antigen receptor technology, which is based on a simple idea. That is to devise the patient's immune system to attack and kill the tumor. And in fact, T cells are engineered with a car so that they are able to express a receptor that recognizes specifically a tumor antigen. So in this way, the immune system of the patient can be directed against uh, and killing specifically the tumor. Uh, the CAR uh, technology is uh, an area where many companies have been working uh, in the last few years. But we are confident that our CAR uh, is peculiar because uh, uh, it can work not only on the hematological tumors, but also based on its uh, characteristic on solid tumors. I think it's uh, joining forces from the entire community uh, to make uh, cancer something that can be lived with uh, or can be defeated uh, altogether.
the market and the investors now are true believers and true supporters of these new technologies. And the field is expanding at incredible speed, therefore benefiting a very large population of patients. When you face uh, uh, new therapies, uh, new technologies like uh, cell and gene areas, you always face challenges. But we are very confident we will be able uh, to uh, uh, deliver our goals uh, because of the results that we were able to deliver in the past and also based on uh, partnership, our partnership with science in uh, different countries where the continuous exchange of uh, experience and knowledge can just improve our ability to deliver.